Hi, Chevra. Welcome to the Short Vort. I want to dedicate these words of Torah on this Shabbos afternoon, or this Arab Shabbos afternoon, to the victims and those who are dealing with the aftermath of the, the tragedy, the disaster in Surfside, Florida, beautiful Jewish community. We, we daven for them, we learn in their merit, and um, we pray for their comfort and chizuk in the days and months ahead. I want to turn our attention to Parshas Balak and use these words as a merit uh, to them. Lo hibit aven bi Yaakov velo ra amal Yisrael velo ra amal bi Yisrael Hashem alokav imo. Bilam, we know, right, tries to curse the Jewish people. It's a failed attempt at cursing the Jewish people, and he blesses them. And he says something that's a little bit strange. It's a beautiful praise. Hashem doesn't see iniquity in Jacob. He doesn't see any sins within the Jewish people. And he sees no blemish in his people. Hashem elokavimo. God is with them. And the Mepharsh and the commentators struggle to understand what that means. Like, we all sin, right? We all have foibles. We all mess up. We all do things that we're not proud of, right? So what does it mean Hashem doesn't see Hashem? sees everything. Why would that be? And why does it say that God is with them at the end? Like, so you could say maybe very nice, you know, God has love goggles for his people and he doesn't see things, you know, that we do wrong. But we know that's not true. Let's, let's be honest. So what's Bilam saying? So I want to share with you two ideas. One from the Chassam Sofer who says, you know why Hashem doesn't see iniquity in Jacob or, or uh, any blemish within us? Because Hashem alokavimo, because we firmly believe that God is with us all the time. We, we live with the awareness of Shiviti Hashem Lenegdi Tami, that I place God before me in all situations. And once you do that, well then, you know, when you have a uh, thought, you have an idea, oh, you know, maybe I want to do that, maybe I don't want to do that, I know I shouldn't, or I know I should. And Hashem will push you, and you actually won't sin. There will be no iniquity in Jacob. There will be no blemish, because you know, you, you have God with you all the time and, and you'll stay on the straight and narrow. That's the Chassam Sofer. A very positive, positive outlook. The Nesiva Shalom and Rabbi Yisrael Rajin have a totally different outlook, a more Hasidish outlook. And that is, no, 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 you're going to sit. Let's be honest with you, right? You're going to sin. You, you might, you're going to eat that thing you probably shouldn't. Or maybe you're going to do that thing on that day you probably shouldn't. Maybe you got, whatever it is, you're going to wake up. You're not going to die. Whatever it is. Right? God forbid, right? Call Yisrael Tzaddikim. We're all righteous. But, you know, we get it, right? We're human beings. We're, we're people. We're going to do things wrong. But, you know why Hashem won't take note of those things that we do? Because even while we're doing that thing that we don't want to, we know we're not supposed to do. Or we're eating that thing we know we're not supposed to. Or we wake up and we don't do the thing. Hashem Elokavimo. Even at that moment, at the moment of sin, God is with us. And if God is with us, we're not saying, oh, it's a stupid, it's a silly, it's a narishkeit, I don't have to listen to it, or it doesn't apply to me, or God doesn't really care. We're not justifying, we're not rationalizing. We're saying straight out, Hashem, I do my best. This is, this is who I am, and I'm doing my best, and I'm sorry, I can't, I can't not do it. But I still believe in you, and I still love you. Well, then God says right back, you know what? If you don't cast me out, even at a time where it seems like you would or should, well, I'm st I still love you, and I'm still with you. And we're going to continue this relationship together. I won't see your sin. I won't see your blemish. Because I hope that, God willing, you keep me in the fold. You keep me next to you. Hopefully, like the Chassam Sofer, next time you won't sin. Next time you'll refrain from doing that thing you know you're not supposed to do. May Hashem be with us always in everything we do, right? Both in when, when we're doing things we're not so proud of and then hopefully pushing us to do things even better, even greater that all of us uh, can be proud of. And may that be a zechut for our families and for all of Kla Yisrael. Have a great one.